Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see an overview of Narrative Missions Module 1, which is an expansion book for Brutality Skirmish Wargame. So far in the Brutality series, we've covered the main book and a battle report going through the core rules. We've also looked at the Beastry and Gauntlet mode and played that out in an awesome battle. But now it's time to look at Narrative Missions Module 1, which brings an RPG element to the game. In this video, you'll see an overview of the expansion book. And then next week, I'll go through a battle report. But let's get started with the book. So we've got 86 pages all together. And included here, you're going to find narrative missions, a narrative solo or co-op campaign, rules for making monster battles, and a random mission generator, as well as a few extra upgrades, model abilities, and legendary traits. As with all the books, this is written by Scott Wainwright. So let's go through it and we'll have a flick through and I'll just bring out some of the main points. A lot of the details are going to be better shown during the battle report, but in the contents, you're going to find how to play the different modules, how to get set up, that kind of thing. And then the main chunk of the book is dedicated to the solo or co-op narrative campaign. So you've got Danger Cove, Compound Ablaze, Save the Town, Infiltrate the Castle, the Living Lair. Then there's Villain Mode, Monster Fight, and then some random mission tables and the extra upgrades, abilities and traits. So a big part of the book is dedicated to these narrative campaigns. And so the first section is going to tell us exactly what's in the supplement, how to play the different modules and how to set up. Again, I'm going to go through this setup in loads of detail during the battle report. Then you've got a section at the top here, which is going to go into the models you need. So you can select some NPCs from the Beastry Gauntlet mode, which we went through in a battle report last week. And that was really fun. There's tons of NPC characters to choose from. It explains the victory points, how to win, and then explore in the narrative. Now, this is all narrative based, a really interesting way of playing this skirmish game, which is totally different to anything I've played before. So I can't wait to share it with you. So you've got some different zones to fight in in this mode and so there's some rules for fleeing a zone and if you want the different NPCs to follow you from one zone to another then there's some ro uh, rules for that too and if you want to go back into an explored zone then that's going to have some consequences as well. Then we've got combat in those zones there's some specifics to that much like when we did the gauntlet mode there's going to be some specific rules we need to follow and then once you've resolved a zone it tells you exactly what to do next. Just like I did with the gauntlet mode battle report, I'll break it down and do a battle report that's almost like a playthrough as well. So you can see all these rules in action and every stage it'll be well explained so you can see exactly how to do it. But it all starts here for the solo cop narrative campaign. And so if you're beginning the Danger Cove mission, it tells you don't read any further, go straight to page 11. So we'll do that. I'm not going to give too much away here either. I'm just going to go give you an overview so you know what to expect. But this book is full of these awesome RPG maps. And these are all uh, drawn by Dyson Logos. And if you're into RPGs, you'll be well familiar with him. He does some awesome maps. But this page introduces you to Danger Cove. And then you get started going into the different zones. So the zone will have an area that you have to set up for combat. And there'll be some roles to make for an encounter. And then depending on that role, you're going to get some consequences to deal with. So... This is all could be different each time you play. You play a lot of times and it's going to be different depending on the role. And then as you move from zone to zone, you're going to get different encounter charts to roll on, different consequences, and the story is going to unfold as you play through it. So really fun, really cool, interesting mechanic. And that continues through all the zones, taking you right through until you get to near the end where you start to take on some big characters like a boss battle. So if you're into like Dungeons and Dragons and you like the combat more than all the other stuff that goes with it then this could be really good for you and this is what me and my boy really like from the uh, Dungeons and Dragons game we always like the combat so we're really interested in playing this then a big chunk of the book continues with the other scenarios but I'll be playing Danger Cove in the battle report next week so you'll see how it unfolds but the same setup goes for each of the other missions that you can play now once you've played the missions you might want to do a little twist on it and that's where villain mode comes in 
and you can find villain mode on page 78. And this is if you want to play a warband that's a bit more villainous. Maybe they're slavers, thieves or sadists. So you can play these missions with a different twist. So rather than trying to be the good guys, you can be the bad guys, which is awesome fun. And if you choose villain mode, there's going to be a few differences for each of those scenarios. And that's all detailed here. Now, you've also got on page 81, monster fight. So if you want to go up against a monster in a one-off battle, this is a great way to do it. You've got a monster table, you've got all the stats, all the different conditions. So that's all on one page as well. So that's all you need. Just page 81, you can now do monster fight. So great to play against some of those big NPCs, perhaps, from the Beastry and Gauntlet book. Then you've got a random missions table, so you can come up with one-off missions to play, and some new upgrades as well. So if you want to give your fighters some different up, uh, up upgrades, then that's the way to do it. And also some model abilities as well. These are new, and they're in addition to the ones you find in the core book. There's a legendary trait here as well, another new one, so you can expand on your warband. And then that brings us to the end of the book. So there we go. That's Brutality Narrative Missions Module 1 by Scott Wainwright. A really interesting idea. I can't wait to play it out and share it with you here on the channel because it is really a good fun mix of skirmish game meets RPG. There's some really nice expansions to Brutality. Can't wait to try this next week. We've done Beastry and Gauntlet mode already, so you've seen that. Hopefully, if not, there's a link at the end of this video to watch it. And then the introduction to the game, if you haven't heard about it before, but want to find out more. I'll also put links down in the description below to the website for Brutality and the Facebook page. Great community there where you can get lots of help, tips, and also find out where to get the book and pick up a copy for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this overview and I also hope you've been enjoying the series for Brutality and they'll continue next week with the battle report going into Danger Cove. So I can't wait to see you there. But for now, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.